Hey, what's up everybody? This is Titan, Titans of CNC, and I'm in Switzerland at Blosser's headquarters with their amazing team. I got Nick over here. What's up, Nick? Good, everyone. How I got are Simon we? over here, Hi. CNC machinist, making it happen. And he called me and he's like, hey, come over to the machine. We got something really cool that we're making. And I'm like, there's a big old piece of stainless in there. What are you making? Uh, we're making Matterhorn in stainless steel with M12. So it's a yes. Matterhorn? Yes. Crazy. So that's like a famous mountain in Switzerland? Yes, it's a big mountain of Switzerland with M12. MQL. So can I ask you, what does that stand for? MQL stands for Minimum Quantity Lubrication. Okay. You got air coming out, cooling at the same time. But I can't see anything here. So this is actually through the spindle exactly. AQL, yeah. right? We're producing a fine oil mist coming through with around 20 milliliters of oil per hour. Awesome. So that's where the term minimum comes from. But it actually doesn't cycle through, nope. right? You use it, use a small amount of it, but it helps keep the, the heat in the chips. Yeah. And, and out of the tool and out of the material. Yeah. You guys are getting after it right now. It helps with lubrication, so that gives us better tool line. Yeah. It gives us better surface integrity. And all this oil is clinging either to the chips or as a fine film on the workpiece, or it's sucked away through the filtering. So there is no coolant disposal to think about. And it's cool because you can actually see the part being machined yeah. as you're doing it. So you guys already have clear coolant with the Synergy 735. You know I love that stuff. Yeah. And this is like, it's like invisible. Yeah, right. unless you have special lighting on it, you don't see a thing. Cool, so then you put special light and then you can see it. Yeah, you see the aerosol coming out of the tool, cool. you see the sputtering and everything. And then if you turn the light off, you don't see anything. You don't see anything. It's there, it's gone, it's there, it's gone. <laughs> exactly. So good, man. Magic trick. That's awesome. So when looking at all your different coolants mm -hmm. and looking at MQL, what kind of customer buys MQL? Typically these are mass production customers like in the automotive industry, aerospace industry. You can use it for stainless steel, alloy steels, aluminum. You have to adapt the tooling of course, you have to adapt your programming, you tend to have to cut faster so the heat goes away inside the chip and not through the tool. Yeah, you know but, I like that. You're getting after it quicker. Yeah. This allows you to just go yeah. extra fast. Yeah. And awesome. with the lubrication, you can do that without wrecking your tools. What about the air to cool it and, and getting rid of chips? Can those be adjusted? Here on that machine, it's configured that we can individually increase the oil to air ratio. We can also increase the pressure, the mass flow. We can go up to 18 bars on that machine. That's pretty special. Typically it's five bars, but they're also simpler and cheaper system where you just switch on the system and then you have a fixed ratio. So there's a lot of different solutions to get an MQL system implemented on your machine. Cool. A lot of in high pressure coolant when you can go up to a thousand psi, yeah. typically around 150 psi. And here we can go up to 300, 400 psi with the systems we have installed here. Okay. And they have different systems. I know yeah. we, we actually use something similar on like smaller machines that don't even have a coolant tank no. and it just works perfectly. And then this is like super high tech though. Yeah. So there are different channel systems. Typically you have single channel where you mix the aerosol back in the mixing chamber behind the machine. And then you pipe it all the way through the machine to the spindle and through the spindle to the tool. And in a dual channel system, we have two separate lines. One is fluid oil, the other is uh, air. And they're mixing right in front of the spindle. So we're much more robust to get a good, healthy aerosol down to the tool. But it's a little bit more rough, bigger droplets in the aerosol. So there's pros and cons to both systems. Awesome. So with the dual, you can actually adjust just your air or just the flow of your oil, depending on what type of cut you're making, right? Yeah, you can also do that with the single channel machine. Okay. And you have to do that at the back of the machine. And then until that new aerosol has come up front, some time passes. So you cannot make these quick, quick changes the same way you can do it with a dual channel system. Right. So, Simon, dude, no. you're like my hero, man. Like, <laughs> seriously, 
You have a Grove machine, five yes. axis. So you got this big block of stainless steel and you're just like getting after it, just pounding chips. So basically you test the coolant and you just run hard and fast and make it happen. And then you give the data to your team and then you guys make adjustments and changes. Is that pretty much your day job? Yes, that's my job. Testing the coolants of Blaser and then uh, with the dates, to need got the R and D and help them to yeah, give them that data to make adjustments, run hard, like just make it happen. Yes, like you here, here. You can oh, hear. I know, I know, so good. Well, Frank, we're happy to have you here. We're proud to work with you. You're doing a wonderful job. That's why we and the guys have a little present for you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you like it? I love it, I love it. Guys, bring the big one. This is the one. Oh man, look at that. Boom, thank you. Oh, it's so awesome. Right here in Switzerland, you guys are killing it. <laughs> Who knew that you'd have so much fun testing coolant? Boom!